All right, let's take a look at the starter mounted on this ISX. So this starter in particular, this is our replaceable starter, but a lot is going on in here. And what I wanna do is follow all of our wiring. And so what we can see is from our harness that actually comes from our key switch. So our engine harness, our key switch wire comes up into the controller, the positive wire of the control relay. Then that would come through this black wire, go back into the motor terminal of the starter, which goes back to ground on our batteries. So this is our control circuit that controls the relay that's going to operate our starter. The relay we can see has a red wire coming into it from the same position or from our battery connection that comes into the mag switch. And then this white wire on the back side actually comes off of that and goes into our pull in and hold in terminal that's on our control or our mag switch here that'll operate our pull in and hold in coils inside the starter. So this large lead right here is our battery cable that's coming to the battery positive and our motor terminal on the starter is going to our battery negative. So if we used our multimeter we would be able to check for potential from the negative terminal right here, the motor terminal, to the positive terminal right here and we should see the same potential as we see in our batteries. And so because there's such a large connection, we should see no loss from our battery open circuit voltage to the potential that's available at these two leads. When this relay is operated, so the key switch turns to the start position, this relay is energized, the current flow is allowed to go through the load circuit of our relay into the control circuit of our starter mag switch, the terminals will close and this positive lead right here will actually be connected by a steel disc inside this switch to this terminal right here. This terminal then comes into our starter and it's gonna go into our uh, brushes, into our commutator bars, into the armature, as well as into the field windings. And remember that our starter is just really a large series circuit. I mean, there are different styles. There's shunt wounds and series parallel and series and parallel wound starters. But essentially, the starter is just one large series circuit where it would come in, go into the field windings, go into the brushes, go into the commutator uh, bars in the armature, creating the magnetic fields. And then all of that is going to return back through this post right here to the ground and to the negative post of our battery. And so then our circuit ultimately comes into the starter through this big lead right here and comes out through this one here. This is why when we do our testing on our starter, we'll be working largely with these two posts right here for our load circuit. And then we will be checking the cable integrity for the positive and the negative cables here.